welcoming Mo to the Hall of Fame are Billy Cunningham. Wow, this is this is amazing. And Grant, you're right. This will be short. Uh, first, I want to congratulate all the other inductees. I'm honored to be in the same class with you. Being inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame is something I never dreamed of. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating life and career of an NBA legend, Maurice Cheeks. In this video, we'll walk you through his journey from his early days in Chicago to becoming one of the most respected point guards in NBA history. We'll talk about his childhood, college days, illustrious NBA career, transition into coaching, and how he continues to impact the game. Along the way, we'll explore his personal life, achievements, and the lasting legacy he's built. So stick around to the end, and if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Now, let's get into it. Maurice Edward Cheeks was born on September 8, 1956, in Chicago, Illinois. He grew up in a challenging environment on the south side of Chicago, where life was tough and opportunities were scarce. His mother, Marjorie, was a single parent who raised Maurice and his siblings, two sisters and a brother. She worked hard to support the family, and Maurice would later credit her for instilling in him the values of hard work, humility, and perseverance that defined his career. Maurice attended DuSable High School in Chicago, where he first made his mark on the basketball court. A talented and quick point guard, Cheeks caught the attention of scouts and coaches alike with his sharp instincts and leadership skills. His ability to see the floor, distribute the ball, and lock down defensively were qualities that set him apart even in high school. Despite growing up in an underprivileged area, Morris's talent and discipline helped him earn a basketball scholarship to West Texas State University, now West Texas A&M University. His college career would become the launching pad for what would be an exceptional journey in professional basketball. College career at West Texas State. At West Texas State, Cheeks continued to develop his craft. Playing as a point guard, he displayed an excellent basketball IQ, solid defense, and the ability to orchestrate his team's offense. Cheeks led his team in assists and was known for his tenacity on both ends of the court. Though he wasn't a flashy player, his consistency and leadership stood out, making him one of the top prospects in the 1978 NBA draft. Professional career, the NBA journey, Philadelphia 76ers, 1978 to 1989. Maurice Cheeks was selected in the second round of the 1978 NBA draft by the Philadelphia 76ers. This marked the beginning of an illustrious career. As a rookie, Cheeks fit in seamlessly with the 76ers' high-powered offense, which included the likes of Julius Irving, Dr. J. His defensive prowess, quickness, and ability to distribute the ball made him a critical part of the Sixers' success. Cheeks' most significant achievement came in 1983 when he helped lead the 76ers to an NBA championship, playing a vital role as the team's starting point guard. He became known for his unselfish play, often deferring to teammates while making sure the ball movement stayed fluid. Cheeks' leadership extended beyond statistics. He was known for his composure and ability to stay calm in high-pressure situations. Throughout his 11 seasons with Philadelphia, Cheeks earned four NBA All-Star selections, 1983, 1986, 1987, 1988, and was named the NBA All-Defensive First Team four times. He retired as the 76ers' all-time leader in assists and steals, solidifying his legacy as one of the franchise's greatest players. San Antonio Spurs, 1989-1990 After a long tenure with the 76ers, Cheeks was traded to the San Antonio Spurs in 1989. While his time with the Spurs was short-lived, Cheeks brought his veteran experience and floor leadership to the young Spurs team. Though the Spurs were in a rebuilding phase, Cheeks' presence helped guide the younger players and provide stability on the court. New York Knicks, 1990-1991 Cheeks' next stop was with the New York Knicks, where he played for one season. Though his role was more limited compared to his prime years in Philadelphia, Cheeks remained a reliable backup point guard, contributing his defensive skills and facilitating offense whenever needed. Atlanta Hawks 1991-1992 In the twilight of his playing career, Cheeks signed with the Atlanta Hawks. 
His role continued to evolve into that of a mentor for younger players, and his impact on the game was more about leadership than putting up big numbers. New Jersey Nets, 1992 to 1993. Cheeks closed out his playing career with the New Jersey Nets, where he played his final NBA season. Even as his physical abilities began to decline, Cheeks remained a respected figure in the locker room and on the court. He retired after the 1992-1993 season, leaving behind a legacy as one of the NBA's best defensive guards and playmakers. Post-retirement and coaching career After retiring from playing, Maurice Cheeks transitioned into coaching. Maurice Cheeks began his coaching career shortly after retiring from playing, starting as an assistant coach for the Philadelphia 76ers in 1994. His strong basketball IQ and leadership skills made him a natural fit for coaching, and after seven years as an assistant, he earned his first head coaching role with the Portland Trail Blazers in 2001. Cheeks coached the Blazers for nearly four seasons, leading them to two playoff appearances, known for his ability to connect with players and foster team chemistry. In 2005, Cheeks returned to Philadelphia as the head coach of the 76ers, where he coached for nearly four seasons. Although his teams were competitive, the 76ers never advanced past the first round of the playoffs during his tenure. In 2009, he was let go after a challenging start to the season. Cheeks continued his coaching journey as an assistant, notably with the Oklahoma City Thunder, where he helped develop young stars like Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. His work contributed to the Thunder's rise to prominence, and he was respected for his calm demeanor and defensive expertise. In 2013, Cheeks was hired as the head coach of the Detroit Pistons, but his tenure was short-lived, as he was dismissed midway through his first season due to inconsistent team performance. Cheeks later returned to the Oklahoma City Thunder as an assistant, continuing to serve in that role for several years. In total, Cheeks' coaching career was marked by his strong mentorship, defensive knowledge, and ability to develop young talent. Though his success as a head coach was limited, he remains highly respected in NBA coaching circles for his contributions to the game. Awards and Honors Maurice Cheeks has earned numerous accolades throughout his distinguished career. As a player, he was a four-time NBA All-Star, 1983, 1986, 1987, 1988, and won an NBA championship with the Philadelphia 76ers in 1983. Known for his defensive prowess, he was named the NBA All-Defensive First Team four times and the NBA All-Defensive Second Team once. Cheeks retired as the 76ers' all-time leader in assists and steals. His contributions to the game were recognized with his induction into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2018, cementing his legacy as an NBA great. Personal Life Maurice Cheeks has kept his personal life relatively private. He has been married to his wife, Glow Cheeks, and together they have children, though specific details about his family life remain scarce in the public domain. Known for his humility and quiet confidence, Cheeks has always been a private individual, preferring to let his work on the court speak for itself. He is a devout Christian, and his faith has played a significant role in his life. Cheeks has often spoken about how his beliefs helped guide him through the ups and downs of his career lifestyle, net worth, and legacy. Maurice Cheeks has an estimated net worth of around $12 million, accumulated through his years as an NBA player and coach. He has earned respect not only for his basketball acumen, but also for his humility and integrity. Despite his success, Cheeks has remained grounded, staying connected to his roots, and giving back to his community. Cheeks is known to live a relatively modest lifestyle, especially compared to many modern NBA stars. He owns a home in suburban Philadelphia and is known to enjoy a quiet life with his family. Maurice Cheek's home reflects his modest and understated lifestyle. While not overly extravagant, his residence, often located in suburban Philadelphia, embodies comfort and sophistication. The property typically features spacious living areas, an open floor plan, and elegant finishes like hardwood floors includes multiple bedrooms, a well-equipped kitchen, and outdoor space for relaxation or gatherings. His home mirrors his personality, grounded and practical, focusing on comfort rather than luxury. Known for living a relatively quiet life, Cheeks values privacy, 
making his home a peaceful sanctuary away from the spotlight of his basketball career. Legacy Maurice Cheeks will be remembered as one of the greatest point guards and defenders in NBA history. His leadership on and off the court, particularly during his time with the 76ers, has cemented his status as an all-time great. Beyond his playing days, his contributions as a coach and mentor have left an indelible mark on the next generation of NBA talent. He will forever be remembered for his sportsmanship, dedication, and the way he carried himself throughout his life and career. Maurice Cheeks is a true ambassador of the game, and his legacy will continue to inspire future players and coaches for years to come. Thank you for watching this in-depth look at the life and career of Maurice Cheeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.